Welcome to Saint-Savine, 130 kilometers southeast of Paris. Here you can find a workshop that works on ancient monuments. Today, the goal isn't to restore an ancient monument, but to recreate a machine vital to the democracy of Athens. We'll take a zone and define it as our green zone, within which we'll focus to keep from working on the whole piece all at once. Then we'll select the type of process we want. The tool will come in here and chisel out the material, which allows us to quickly produce something relatively sharp. This high-precision robot will ensure the perfect size for our marble block. The goal? To create a clarotarion. This ancient Greek device allowed the citizens of Athens to draw lots for the judges of a tribunal or the members of an assembly. Those people required to carry out particular public tasks for the city. An entire clarotarion has never been discovered intact during excavation. There are only a few physical examples in existence, all incomplete and stored in museums. The 3D model used today has therefore been extruded from the research led by archaeologists Nicolas Bresch and Liliane Rabatel. The design of this machine was based on a text written by Aristotle concerning the constitution of Athens. This document explained the process of drawing lots and described the machines that were used. This was matched with our findings as we studied ruins. We can say that we are on the verge of creating what we might call a prototype of Clarotarian, even though we aren't sure if they existed exactly like this. With our knowledge of the text, as well as observations drawn from what relics we can access, this will be effectively the same as a machine drawn straight from the 4th century, the last quarter of the 4th century to be precise. Before arriving at this final stone reproduction, Nicolas Bresch had already built numerous iterations in cardboard. In this way, they were able to validate a number of hypotheses surrounding the function of this counting machine. But to replicate it in its original form allows for a more granular study of the device. To us, it seems clear that for our work, to better pursue our research on the operation of this machine, we need to have its components built as closely as possible to the original. In other words, in stone. This enables us to give equal consideration to the constraints imposed by the weight of the object they would have used. The Claritarian, finally built and assembled, can now be tested. So the tube goes like this. Now we need to adjust the attachment to the right height. and adjust the angle to align it just right as well. I have two tools which are inserted here and which will control the release of the dice. The people would come with a placard like this, which was called a pinakion. Aristotle's text tells us that the pinakia were made of wood and more precisely of boxwood. Certainly, it would have been a very hard wood because they would have wanted to keep the stone from damaging it. So, we're using a relatively dense wood. All of the citizens who belonged in a certain category would have come and placed their placard in a box where they would have been shuffled. Then, a volunteer would insert the placard within the slots of their columns, alpha, beta, etc. This is truly an emblematic tool of democracy. The name of a citizen was inscribed on each of the Pinakia. In this example, 85 citizens will participate in the lottery, with 17 rows containing five citizens each. If one wanted to draw 15 citizens, it would be necessary to select three rows of five people each. Three white cubes to select three rows, 14 black cubes for 14 disqualifications.
There, we can release the dice at a steady, measured rate. I'll just withdraw the first insert. When we put it back in between the two inserts, we are able to alternate between them, to isolate a single cube at a time. As soon as a white cube is released, the five pinakia within that row are used to determine the citizens designated for political roles. Conversely, the citizens of a rung that received a black cube can leave without being given any work or office. The selection continues row after row until there are 15 citizens out of 85 who have been designated to fill public posts. It was made like this in order to be viewed in open spaces. It's very important that this is done in the open. Possibly covered to keep out the rain and sun, and guaranteed that people were truly chosen by chance, that they were honestly shuffled. Thus, there was also an idea of participation within the operation of democracy that necessitated each citizen to have an equal chance of taking part in public life. Thus, this Claritarion gives us a concrete interpretation built solely upon ancient ruins and texts. Destined to be circulated among the public, it will open discussions revolving equally around new and old technology which might bring about innovative methods of organizing public service today.